Good morning, everybody. Time to go hit the yard sales again. It's another Saturday. Unfortunately, not a lot of yard sales on the yard sale treasure map app today. I think the chance of rain later has scared a lot of people off, but I do have my camera bra <laughs> ready to hook up and go check out what's out there. So let's go find those deals. I'm not sure if there's anything really worth it in there. But I do see a SpongeBob. And I do see some Disney. So for two dollars and all of this, there's gotta be something worth it. So I consider that a score. You do a YouTube channel saying watch me do yard sales? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. No, you don't. Dig it? Mm-hmm. for that uh you still want the speakers too would you do 25 for all that i would okay that's the important part yeah. i just bought these bose speakers and an lg DVD player for 25 dollars not really expensive but it looks like one pair of speakers the 100 mile bose goes for 20 bucks a piece I didn't even price this switcher, but the speakers here, there's two of these, looks like they go for 40 as well, and then this DVD player, or excuse me, like Blu-ray player goes for 40, so, not huge profit, but easy, so that's cool. What's going on everybody, I want to show you the full rundown of what I got in my yard sale today. Not the best I've ever had, but I'm not complaining. It's gonna be a lot of stuff to list this week. Some money should be made. We can't complain. Let's flip it around and show you what I got. So here in my book, I paid 79 for these items. So this is everything laid out. Two bags of plush for $2. That's the best plush deal I've ever got. I'm gonna dump those out here at the end. I got four, well, three cowboy hats and one like gardening or trail hat or just outdoor hat, I don't know. I paid five for this one. Conditions okay, a little dusty. The felt is, it could be wiped off. I paid 10 for this, what brand is this? Renegade, 10 bucks for that. Pretty nice hat. I saw a comp for about 40 with a leather band like this. This one is this bull hide brand. Pretty good condition, very clean and paid 10 for that one as well. They should bring 30 to 40 each, and I forgot what brand this is. Henschel, Henschel, something like that. Just a little wide brim, hiking, gardening, whatever kind of hat. Maybe 30 for that one, I paid five for it. 
So that's cool. And if you ever get cowboy hats, definitely look into them. Cowboy hats will sell. Brand, it, it, brand matters, but definitely condition is the biggest thing. Check them for moth holes if they've not been taken care of. Somewhere around the uh, thinner edges, you can find some damage if they've not been taken been taken care of. So, cowboy hats and boots, look for those. I did get a pair of dingo boots at this place. I saw the same pair go for forty on March eighteenth, I believe. One thing really wrong with these, if you say it's wrong, is it looks like they spilled some water or something on them. I think you can clean that off, maybe not. If not, I'm sure they'll sell the way they are. Now this this house where I got these dingo boots, these tennis rackets, and these hats was an estate sale, and the guy came up to me and asked me to turn my camera off. He had just a little bit of an attitude when he was talking about it. He's like, I can't have people seeing this house before it's up for sale, or it is for sale. I can't have people seeing it. Um, before it's ready and I'm like I'm not like an inspector or something I'm just doing my deal here at the yard sales but respectfully I turned it off as I said I got these tennis rackets in the garage they had golf clubs tennis rackets and this bag here had these in it I thought there was only three rackets but this one had its own little bag inside the case I think these are all kind of Walmart throwaway type of rackets this may be something the handles if you, get, if you ever get golf clubs or anything with a grip give your thumb a rub on it and if it peels away be careful they're deteriorating you can have a handle a grip rewrapped not a big deal but just be careful check that but anyway the bag so I paid ten dollars for that the bag itself will go for 30 or 40 and maybe I get something out of these but I'm happy with that quick flip for these bags people will be playing tennis going outside again to soon so I took a gamble I think it'll pay off and then I got these three pardon the rackets here the rackets makes us a racket dad joke okay I got these three Bose speakers this H not HDMI uh, Wi-Fi LG blu-ray player and these two Bose players in one box for $25. I got this little switch with it too. I don't even know if this goes for anything. What brand is this? Adcom? I've never really had a big home uh, theater system set up, so I don't know how much that sells for. But anyway, these speakers go for like 20 each. Those go for 20 to 30. These are, anyway, Bose Model 100. I forgot what the brand of the or not the brand, the model of these are. Bose 201s. They're not really expensive, but it's Bose. It's a brand name. And paid 25 for all that. So that's a good flip. So that's everything. That took a lot of driving around to get these. Definitely something I'll have uh, to list this week, and it should sell. Let's take a look at this bag of plush because plush is something that is profitable. But usually, I don't see it this cheap. Let's just dump it all out. <clears throat> That's a lot of plush. And I'm looking for Disney, Sesame Street, or those big names like that. What do we have here? Let's just start on it. We've got a Belky Bear. What year is that? 2020. So it's last year's, I don't think. I'll, there's another one. Is it the same thing? I don't know if these really go for anything. I've seen Belk Bears sell for something, but at the price I paid, if I charged a dollar each, that's well worth my time. Ooh, look at this. This is not new. This is vintage Mickey Mouse. Hmm. What year is this? I really can't tell. That's something I'll have to do some research on, but that's cool. I guess his body's in there too, hopefully. Oh, look, right here in front of me. It's hard plastic. It's mechanical. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. Here's a tag. The tag says, Dancing Donald. Okay, but that's Mickey Mouse. Well, that's an oddity. Okay, well, that's something for research later. What's this? 
welcome to fabulous las vegas so just a little tourist souvenir thing with a pouch in it is that for your your quarters or your alcohol i don't know maybe that's something that you would get to play the slots with that's my guess probably garbage on that one here's two blankets we'll give that to the cat and the dog what are they actually before we do that <clears throat> Looks like a Las Vegas blanket. So just a Vegas throw. Nothing worthy there. We got a little Elmo. And these all look to be in pretty con good condition. Nothing chewed on or sucked on from a baby. What we have here? A monkey? Okay, so as I was looking through these, I see the same tag. Well, let me show you the tag. I see this tag, Aurora, and I'm looking across the way and I see the same tag over here. What is this? Are these related? What is this? Oh, this is Bozo. We've got a Bozo. Oh, it's got a tag. So interesting that they have the same. Hear Bozo's voice. Seven classic Bozo expressions. That's cool. That's got to be worth something. Five, ten dollars maybe? Now, apparently, you can make sound he doesn't make sounds I guess to change a battery in it interesting they have the same tag maybe they're not related at all but anyway same tag what is this great show oh look this is um the circus it's uh Ringling Brothers and they're out of business that should be something there you go greatest show on earth well, that's cool we have a Christmas style of moose because it got the plaid antlers what brand are you dandy it's a pretty good size moose don't know if it'll sell now i got several of these what are these things are these dog toys they say splish splashes oh so it's like a bath toy or a, a pool toy we have a stingray a dolphin some type of fish. Here's a crab at my foot. So we got the whole set here of these little splish splash things. Any more? I don't see any more. We've got a Mickey here. Americana Mickey. A tiny little snowman. That's going to end up being a dog toy because my dog loves little plush things. Get out of here. We have, I see two Monsters, Inc. figures, or, or plush. I don't remember their names. I guess this and this will sell as a set. So that's neat. I mean, I, I, I've made my money back here a couple times already. Not at all upset about this. Is this a Dr. Seuss thing? It looks like it, or is it just a C-shaped elephant? What's the brand on this? Little Lewis Explorers. I don't know. Anyway. A big SpongeBob pillow. I don't think this is going to be worth a whole lot because it is a... Uh, it's got a little bit of pilling, I believe is what you call it. It's been used a little bit. Maybe a sale. I doubt it. Oh, here's another Splish Splash. So we got a whole family of underwater ocean toys. We have a duck. That's a tie. The wonderful makers of Beanie Babies. It'll make you millions of dollars if you find them. And last but not least, I think I did look this one up when I was looking for the prices on these when I got to the place. Wild Republic. I've sold several Wild Republic critters in my past. I think a fox and maybe a, a wolf. And I know Wild Republic does sell, so this should be maybe like a 16 I think I saw that it was like maybe $16. Not sure how recent it was, but that would pay for it alone. So that is the pile of plush. Not upset at all. Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot. I also got some more wrestling masks to add to the wall behind me here in my luchador gym. I've got four of these now. <laughs> so I saw these on Mercari for maybe $30 and I said hmm I like to make a bundle what about these and I'll offer the guy or lady whoever it was 
offer them 20 taking five dollars a mask and they took it so like, all right cool and I, I couldn't quite tell the quality in the picture but now that I get them ooh they are some stinkers but you know I also may may have been helping somebody who is new to making something and you know what I'll throw them a bone and I respect their hustle but I, I didn't see the good sewing lines on these maybe they're supposed to be this way I feel like you'd sew that down I don't know I didn't recognize anyone's mask, any particular wrestler's mask. This is Mil Mascaris or Mascaris, however you say his name. I've got one of those already up on the wall. But look at this heart. Like, is that a straight line? What are you, are you in a hurry? No, I'm not knocking the hustle. So here we are with four masks added, filling out quite nicely. Can't wait to have this whole space here filled with the wonderful colors of luchador masks. Anyway, let's flip this back around and call this one a day. So that's my haul. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. If you're not a subscriber, please join the family. Hit the like button. Hit the bell notification. No, don't hit it. Elbow drop that bell notification so you'll know when I've got more content available, but I'm not responsible for how you damage your monitor. That's not my fault. I hope you all found some great stuff this weekend. If you're not flipping yet, get to it. It's waiting for you. Keep hustling and have a great flipping day.